In this crowd raising signs with familiar slogans in downtown Everett, there's a feeling that's taken hold beneath the cheers. Hold it up proud, guys. For marchers like Megan Marlowe Nash. I'm mad. Thoughts and prayers, I don't want to hear about it anymore. She's a teacher. Two decades after Columbine, 10 years after Sandy Hook, two weeks after Uvalde. She no, says the anger holds strong that her classroom rarely feels safe. When I have to lock my door as an educator and look out the peephole to see who's knocking, that's when there's a problem. My children don't feel safe. Voices like hers joining with others, including students. I don't know if I would call it hope. I would call it anger. I haven't stopped being angry since I was 14. Not everyone agrees with the sources of the emotion here today. They don't want the kind of gun control many of these signs call for. But there was discussion of places some gun owners and some violence prevention advocates might find common ground. Stricter gun laws, background checks, extreme risk protection orders, raising the age to buy assault weapons. I mean, common sense things, right? We've seen it work in Washington. Now it's time to take it to the federal level. Still, not everyone shares the same kind of anger. And the question remains. Whether these marches will reach new ears. So, what happens after all of this? Speakers called on people who attended today to stay involved with these efforts, including putting pressure on their legislators and getting involved in electoral efforts. We're live in Everett, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.